Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. So, um, this episode and the next episode are going to be the last two for this series. So, these last two episodes are might go a little bit longer uh, than the normal because I want to I want to use this episode to get all of that wood that we just processed out of the bush. And then the next episode is going to be strictly us selling it all. So this one might be longer. Next one might be about the same, but we'll see. Um, I decided that once we do decide to unload all of the wood that we have stacked up here, I am going to um, just manually sell it by parking next to the sell point. I was going to try to, or sorry, automatically um, sell it. I was going to try to manually unload it, and then I'm like, oh, God, that'll take, like, forever. So we're going to do it the quick and easy way to get our totals but we have to fight our way up to the top of the hill with a few trailers i think most of our video will be just driving time will be the slowest part um one thing that's changed on this one actually well it's probably changed by the time you see this anyway but um i've changed the weight of the equipment so everything in the game the truck the trailers the machines everything's about uh, i'd say about 25 percent less in weight um, I think that'll address a lot of issues that people were bringing up with sliding and um, just machines acting a little bit weird. You'll notice the truck's actually a lot smoother on the road now when you're driving it. Um, it still goes to side to side a little bit, but it's not like that ricochet bounce like it used to be because before it was pretty brutal. So that's all corrected now. And the loaders and the processors, bunchers, everything's 25% less weight. Um, the loader definitely you'll notice it's a bit more uh, wonky to use because it's uh, the weights are so much lower than they used to be. You can't just dominate the wood like you used to. you got to be a little more careful, which is realistic because I've watched lots of videos of, you know, medills and stuff running, picking up heavy bits of wood and how the counterweights react with them. So um, our machines before were actually quite heavy in comparison to real life. So these ones are actually, I would say, a lot more realistic in terms of um, how they react with the wood because a lot of machines are not super machines they can't lift all the weights let's see if I can get this through here ah alright I'll just do it from front to back and we'll turn around somewhere here so I don't know how many loads we're going to get out of this maybe 3, 4 this could be a long episode this could be an extremely long episode but we're going to do it right to the finish not a worry okay so yeah, like I said, so the machines are definitely uh, lighter, which will make things a little bit different. I haven't actually loaded a single thing. I've, I've played with the weights and stuff quite a bit, but I haven't actually loaded a truck yet with the new physics, so we'll see how it goes here. I have pulled a trailer around um, just to make sure the uh, weights are all proper. I can still pull machines. Actually, I can pull machines up hills better. Um, the pickup itself, or the uh, hauler itself, is a lot lighter, too. Um, but you can still haul machines up hills, no problem. It's a little more realistic. That's what we always go for, is a little bit of realism, but a, little, a lot of bit of fun. So, lots of realism, lots of fun. I just got finished mowing my lawn. That was a blast. I hate it when you get, like... I rent, like, I don't own my own place yet, but, um, so my landlord has one side, and, uh, we have our side, basically, it's like a duplex, um, but we both have a pretty decent-sized lawn on each side of the house, so, um, as part of the agreement, I just basically mow both sides, but it's really funny because, um, it rained a whole bunch, and I have an electric lawnmower, which is the weirdest thing ever, we got it on sale at the Canadian Tire, so I have this electric lawnmower with a single battery, I was like, it's actually good if you set it high enough, it seems to last pretty good. It'll cut both sides of the lawn, no problem. But um, on, <laughs> on some of that wet ground, it just, like, bogs right down. And I was going to buy another battery for it. And, um, yeah, it turned out that the cost of the damn battery for the lawnmower was actually more than what I paid for the lawnmower entirely. So I thought that was actually kind of funny. So I'm like, ah, well, if it runs out of batteries, I'll just charge it and finish the rest of the morning. Like, I don't really care that much. So yeah, anyway, so I do both sides of that and just mow along. It was an absolute blast playing with that. 
Mm, mm, this thing's actually loading quite nice. It feels good anyway. We have a little bit of a frame rate drop, just a teeny bit. We have a lot of wood laying around up here, so I totally get that. That'd be good for one bunk. Oops, let's just leave that going. It's not going to run out of fuel. It's a brand new truck. Anytime your vehicles run out of fuel, you might as well just buy a new one. Well, I also fixed that issue uh, in this guy where you couldn't fuel it. That was actually a known issue for a while, and I just kept forgetting about it. So then this last update, I was like, oh, man, I better fix that because that's annoying. But, I mean, we've been playing this whole time, and I haven't had to fuel any of the trucks up yet. Even the equipment, which is kind of sad. <laughs> so I may need to adjust it to waste a little more fuel. But fueling's pretty lame anyway, so maybe maybe I won't. I don't know. They definitely waste more than the in-game ones do. But, I don't know. We'll, th we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, after this episode, once we get all this wood out of here... Um, We'll definitely have one more, and that'll put us at 60, so I was counting back the episodes. I actually thought we were at 60 a while ago, but apparently we'll be at 60 after this episode. And I figured, let's end it at 60. Might as well. I mean, we're pretty close to being done here. And I mean, the, the way I thought about it was like, oh, I could probably make like three or four episodes to finish it, but um, they would all be loading episodes, because that's all that's left. So I'm like, well, why don't I just do one super long episode? That's this one. Um... And just burn off all the wood, load it all up, bring it over there, get it ready, and then we'll do our final episode selling everything to see how much profit we actually made from all the work we've done. And then we're going to get rid of all the equipment, sell everything, and see what our total profit is from starting this whole operation. That'll be kind of fun. Ooh, see, that's a little heavy there. See, but that's... Oops. Well, that's lighter. <laughs> that's not unrealistically heavy if the wood was fairly green, so... I'll just accept it. I'm sure some people like the weight change and others won't. And But ultimately it's a good thing because um, we were having a lot of issues with the weights causing troubles for people. Especially uh, people when you're bunching trying to go uphill. It would slide really bad. Oh darn. I thought we were going to get that one. So now there's no longer a sliding issue when you're bunching uphill and that's that's a good one. So... I hated that problem. I used to drive me bonkers. It's driving me nuts. Uh, which way are we facing? Kind of this way. Eh? I'm going to go this way and grab a couple here. Just going to grab a good... Well, actually, you know what? Let's not walk back and forth. We'll just pull the truck ahead. Let's not be silly about it. Just kind of off kilter there. Oops. Sometimes I think I know what I'm doing with my controls, and then they go the complete opposite way of what I thought they were doing, and you're like, what? What is this all about? Oop, there we go. Okay. So yeah, after we load all this stuff up, I wonder how many loads we'll get out of this, actually. I bet you my guess is probably maybe f three loads, maybe? Three loads, four loads, I bet we'll get out of this stuff. I don't know. It depends on how many piles we got. I didn't really count them. That's probably good for one. Close enough. And we should be able to fill up part of the back bunk with this one. I don't think we'll get... The whole thing filled up, but we can try. Yeah, so with the heads and everything being a bit lighter, um, I made it so, like before, basically what I did is I made it so the machine and the heads would dominate the woods physics, be, be a higher power basically. But now I've kind of got things real. They still dominate the woods physics, but not as greatly as they did before. So, for instance, um, if you have a very light head on your equipment, like if this attachment that I have on here has a very low mass, um, what will happen is the wood will be heavier than the, the head so that when I'm squeezing my grapple around the wood, the physics of the wood are actually dominant to 
the um, head itself because of the weight, right? So what will happen is instead of the wood glitching out and shooting out of the grapple, the grapple shoots all over the place and spins. So right now I've got a balance where both the wood and the grapple kind of vibrate together, meaning that their masses are really, really close to one another, which is really good. That's kind of what I've been trying to do for a while. And I've finally found the perfect, uh, the perfect balance here. So hopefully it'll work pretty well. But I was tired of having machines and heads and equipment that was just way too light. Because that stuff just sucks then. Bloop. I don't know how many more we can get on there. Oh, there are a couple grapples, maybe. There we go. Bloop. I don't think we have anything else on this side, so might as well loop around the back here. Looks good. I'm actually just gonna scooch up to this pile, grab one big heavy big heavy hand load. Oh actually we'll maybe we'll drive up. That's a long ways to walk with this thing, it's so slow. I thought we were a little bit closer. Alright, so park that guy there. Whoop. This might make an interesting screenshot there, huh? Let's go like that. And we should be able to get at least one decent grapple out of this one. Beep. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll call that a load. Okay, let's uh, hammer this guy and get her back to base here. Seems like actually a really nice load. This is good. This will be a good uh, test trial for my weight system here. Doesn't become public till next week, so... Again, I'm talking in the present tense. By the time this video comes out, it probably will be out for a while or something. But hey, here we are. So you'll notice, like, the cab is actually a little bit more bouncy as we go. Doink. I put a little more, a little less spring and more suspension in the tires. So basically what will happen is they they bounce a little more. Doink, doink. It's about as realistic as you can get for this torque ratio. I don't know how the trailer, the trailer is pretty, they got a little bit of give there. Of course, they're glitching out because they got pieces of wood stuck in the tire, but that's okay. But now, um, when you're driving, like, you see how it bounces up and down? It's a lot more realistic to a real suspension, how you get that kind of, like, jujug, jujug, kind of jumpy. Um, before what was happening was the, the spring on the tire suspension was a little too hard, so what would happen, as soon as you hit an object, it was just, like, instant bounce from side to side, um, because it was considered, like, the object to be hard. And that caused it to bounce around. Oh, God. Boing, boing, boing. But instead of bouncing around, it's more like jarring, I think, would be the word I would use to describe it before. Like, instead of this nice little kind of bounce thing that we got going on here, it would just jar forward, jar back, jar forward, jar back. And it was like, oh, that's disgusting. It's almost like it didn't have suspension. It was just rock, metal on metal. <laughs> so, I think it's a lot better than it used to be. Oh, can we clear that tree? Oh, yeah, only hauling equipment, we can't clear that tree. Because the booms stick up a little bit. A little bit too far. Alright, so then we're going to have to get another trailer. Man, that last episode's going to be boring. It's just going to be us hauling load after load after load to the mill. Actually, what I'm probably going to do now is I'm going to start bringing them further forward because we're going to have to come back, hook up all of these trailers, and bring them all to the mill. Crash the game with savings. How much we got? So we got 519000 in the bank. That's just from wood we've sold so far. Um, I can't remember what we started the game with. Like 500,000 or something it gives you, I think. Maybe. Maybe less. That's without the purchase. Oh, yeah. And when we're done, we're going to sell the land back, too. So we're going to sell the land back. We're going to sell all the equipment back. And then we'll see how much money we're sitting at. I'm going to park this load right here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's buy another one of these. 
Actually, we we'll probably lease a few of these, to be honest, because we're going to be back and forth. Let's do three trailers and just see. We may have more wood out there, but let's do three. Three's a good, solid number. Yeah, this will be the most loading we've ever done in one episode. Probably going to be doing some um, multiplayer stuff, I think, coming up. I think I'm going to be doing multiplayer, but I'm not going to do multiplayer with uh, other voices in the chat. So I think I'm just going to do multiplayer. People can join, type the text. I'll probably do live streaming um, while we're playing. And then just, I don't know, just give her. That way we're not talking over each other. I can still talk to the chat, do my own thing. And then people can just uh, do their gig. And then if I can, I can just type commands to people. <laughs> that's, that's more fun. Okay, mm, 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 mm. let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe three more trailers. Maybe more, though. I think we'll lick up this last little bit pretty quick. So we got one, two, three. I think there's four, maybe five piles left. And I know two of them have some decent amount of wood in them, so... Maybe one, two... Maybe two trailers. Two trailers and a bit. Depends how much we slam the loads on there too. Like if we just fill it right to the right to the tip of the stake, then we'll get a different experience. Alright, so let's kinda whip around this way here. Boinga boinga boinga. Alright. Oh jeez. Oh I shouldn't be going this fast, but I'm just like, let's just get it done. So fast we can go up this hill. <sighs> Test out that suspension. <laughs> Just beating it. This truck would be toast after this, but hey. Who's counting? So yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, kind of seven piles. So yeah, I don't know. Could be interesting. Oops. There we go. Let's put it about there. All right, back to her. Here we go. Of course, I had to park on the side with the tree blocking the load, so I can't see what's down there. That's brilliant. That sounds like something I'd do. Okay, it's leaning this way a bit, so the wood will kind of naturally fall out of the grapple up again. Get a leaner. Just a little leaner. I don't care if it leans to the front. That's fine. Bloop. And I think there's only one piece on this side. Yeah, we're good there. Oh, apparently I don't have the loader on. Must have turned it off. Look at me trying to conserve fuel and respect the environment and all that stuff that loggers don't do. <laughs> the only way to save a tree is to cut it down. Isn't that true? So true. Yeah, they were so worried about deforestation up here when the NDP government got in that they said no logging, no logging of this stuff up here. And then the um, pine beetle took over and killed all the trees. And then they sat there going, oh, hmm. Even though the biggest suggestion of BC was to log the wood. But did they do it? Nope. So now we have all this dead timber out there that's worth, you know, cents on the dollar because a beetle came through and destroyed all of it. When? They should have listened to advice. Mowed it all down when they had the chance. They might have even been able to stop it. But you never know. Pine beetle goes a long way, though. It goes all the way down to, like, the states and Oregon and across the border. Just crazy. There we go. Alright, so let's go wander down to our next pile, which is this one down in the Tulis here. Or should we do the high up one first? Nah, we'll do the lower ones. We'll go doot, 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 and then come back to that final pile. The final pile. 
All right, that should be good. Running from place to place, from thing to thing. And we should be able to make that turn. Oh, she's a bit tight. I think we got her though. There we go. Let's make for an interesting load. Just throwing one strap on that one because I have a feeling it's going to slip down as we load here. Oh, that's a good grab. <whistles> like that. Look at that one. Decent. See, the machine can still handle a load that good, then that's pretty realistic. It tilts, it, it starts to tip a little bit, but nothing, nothing too bad. Oops, that's kind of going down there. Go that way a bit. There you go. Perfect. Actually, we might only need one more trailer after after this. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I'm kind of trying to predict as I go how many more loads we got left before this will be done. But it's a little tricky because some of these piles are a bit bigger than others. Bum, bum, ba -da, bum, bum. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just going to shimmy this aside out of our way. Here we go. This is a bit bigger of a pile. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on this side. And I'm going to drive the truck over there. And then I'll load down onto the truck. That way I can be higher than the stakes, which is always an ideal position to be in when you're loading. If I may say so myself. And there we go, right there, perfect. Oh, that's an ideal spot. See, now I sit a little bit higher than the load itself. And that makes loading much easier to drop the wood down right on top of it. Bloop. Oop, our load got a little, uh, just a tad spliced with the front there. Slid a bit, that's too bad. All right, not all loads can be perfect. Especially when you're in funky trains. Not all life is flat and easy. Sometimes you got to mix it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. I'm going to call that one a done bunk. A done bunk it. Lock that up. All right, pull ahead here. Let's put it up there. Park, park our thing in the bush here. <laughs> A little, a little out to lunch there. That's okay. There's one thing I really like to try. I see it in videos on the internet sometimes where guys use the other load and they kind of like push it together. It doesn't work super well in this game though. I think because it just doesn't interact with the uh, the logs quite as good. Oh, see, and then you just drop it. You got to open it so much to make it wiggle. Oh, that worked out. These are kind of funky bent ones a little here too. We got that Port Murray map has these trees, and then I think I'm done with these. I don't want to use these bendy ones anymore. They're just so glitchy, especially for loading. I think I'm going to stick to the straight ones. We've had our time with the bent crap. I might retexture them, actually, and make them poplar trees. Something in my head says they'll be more satisfying to cut if they're bent-looking poplar trees. So That's something I'm going to try. But I got a very interesting map coming up that I think you guys are really going to like. Port Murray's going to be fun. It'll be similar landscape to this, maybe just with some different sites and stuff. So, I hope it's not too similar to this one. Because the one after that I'm going to really do some funky stuff on to try to make it a whole new world. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. We're on some wacky terrain here. And we'll get that slipped right on there. Uh, there we go. Oof, a little sketchy. Don't like that. Okay, so let's... I'm actually just going to walk ahead grab these. It'll be faster than trying to pull that truck ahead. 
I was going to try to put these piles closer together, but I'm like, since we're here, we might as well just give her... We're getting a little tippy here with the machine, but not too bad. I'm going to get this whole pile on there. I'm not screwing around this time. Kind of in a bit of a tilty situation here. This is Jordan loading fast. Normally I take my time, but I'm kind of giving her here. <laughs> it's like a Friday for the loaderman, you know? Just give her! You gotta get the wood out. I think I'll call that a load, actually, for that one. Then we got this pile, and then I think two more up top. I'm gonna say we could probably do it with one more trailer. I don't know. It's a cocky guess, but I think we could probably pull it off. Let's uh, lock you up. Hopefully I can back it out of here. This truck's got a lot of torque, so I'm really not concerned about it not having the power to push it. That's kind of what I wanted to do, because, you know, like, I mean, I know they slip, they slide trucks and stuff like that, but on decent terrain, these bad boys have, in real life, a lot of torque. I've seen these guys back um, logging trucks up muddy roads, fully loaded, slipping and sliding around, but still making it up those hills and, like, you know in reverse and I'm like oh man so when I see some of these games that make the logging trucks or vehicles just like slide around <clears throat> in a very kind of unrealistic way it's like uh don't be doing this uh machine disservice because some of these machines in real life whether it be your actual machines cutting in the bush or the logging trucks or the trucks any of that they're actually quite amazing and quite torquey little machines but I think a lot of people just kind of don't realize that. I'm sure most of you guys, because you've probably all watched a lot of uh, videos of real logging equipment, so you know what's up. But lots of people don't. So they get this kind of Hollywood image of what they should be like. Pretty wild. Oh my god, we're like 27 minutes into this episode already. Look at us go. Won't be too much longer. I think one more load and I'll have it cleaned up. And then on the next episode, we're going to sell everything to see how much money we sit at. Then we're going to sell all of our loads. And then we're going to take 500000 off the top. Because I'm pretty sure that's what they give you when you start. 500000 500000 off the top. And then we're going to see how much profit we have. And we're going to guess it. Well, actually, at the end of this episode, you guys are going to have to make your guesses for the next one. Because I can't very well make you guys guess in the next episode. So I hope you guys have been keeping track of how many loads are coming in. Because um, you guys are going to have to guess. You guys are going to have to guess how many are left. How much it's going to be worth. Actually, we're going to bring this one all the way over here. So count out the loads. Look at them all. See them all? Yeah, you do. There's one at the mill. There's one sitting here. I'm not going to sell this pile of crap that we have stuffed in there. Because I just don't want to have to go fish that all out of there. But... Um, count the loads in your head and in this video this is the video you got to comment and guess and then in the next video is the one where we reveal the grand total profit so for you guys watching this is the calculation we're going to do so the calculation is going to be whoever can guess my total and amount of money profit wise so it's going to require a little bit of guessing a little bit of math so, right now I have, and Mark, write this down. Write it down, because this will make you be able to get a guess in. So, we have $516,000 in our bank account right now, just sitting there. Now, $500,000 is going to come off the total end price, because that's how much the map gives you when you start. So, five hundred grand off the top. So, technically, we have $16,188. So, that's our profit so far into this game. Now... I'm going to sell all of my trailers. I'm going to sell this map, or this uh, plot of land that we worked on. And I'm going to sell um, all of that wood and all the vehicles, everything. So we're back to walking away from this project with nothing. And I want you guys to figure out your closest guess to what that'll be. And whoever close gets the closest guest, guest, guess, guess. <laughs> Um, I'm going to send a FDR gift bag package thing to you with some merchandise and goodies and stuff like that. 
So, again, I'm going to give you guys the math one more time. So write this down if you care, if you want to. So I have $16,000, $16,188 right now. I have all that wood I'm going to sell. I have the two chunks of land. I think I have two, maybe one chunk of land, three chunks of land. I don't know. I got to sell those. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll make it even easier. At the end of this video, I'll sell all the equipment so we have a starting point, and we'll just guess the wood, actually. Let's do that. Because I'm just making this probably way too complicated, so let's... I just got to remember to do that at the end of this episode here. But I think this will be our last load. I'm going to really hammer this sucker full of wood, so I think we'll be able to pull it off. So let's park down here. So we're still a little bit above our load. That'll be good. Oh man, that's a cool shot. I like that. Actually, I wonder if there's an actually good picture out of that. Oh man, I want that picture. I wish I could jump. Hold on. Picture! Whoop! Let's see if I can get a little bit better. How about that one? Oh! There we go. I love taking pictures. Alright, so. Here we go. So yeah, at the end of this video, instead of going through all that horrible math, because I realize I'm like, this is way too complicated for someone to guess. I'm going to give everyone a much better chance. So at the end of this video, I'm going to sell everything so that I'm at a base amount. And then we're just going to guess the amount of the wood. Instead of trying to calculate the depreciation on the trailers and the stuff and the yada yada. The only thing I'm not selling is the trailers themselves because they have the wood on them, obviously. But I'm going to sell all the equipment. You know what I should do? I should, before I get too cocky here, I'm going to hit escape so it does a little quick save here. There we go. Because if it, like, bailed out or something in the middle of this, I would be crying. I would cry my little eyes out. We wouldn't want that. Well, that's a good grab, too, hey? Whoop. A little wonky there, but, you know, she's still coming. Might be able to get... This whole bunk, just from this pile. Oh, it's a little bit more up there. Come here. And we're going to tuck and fold. TTF. Tuck, tuck, fold. For anybody who's ever seen Multiplicity, you'll understand. If you haven't seen Multiplicity, great show. Michael Keaton. Clones. Hopefully it's ringing a bell. Mm -mm. All right, let's throw this over here. There we go. Hey, there we go. Nice. That's actually really good. Whoops. I always turn this off. What a good operator, hey? Just don't leave the machines running. Even though sometimes probably leaving them running is a better call. Yeah, let's just plow through this pile of crap here. Crunch, 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 crunch. And then we're going to go up here. And literally, uh, we'll just have to back that thing up. That's it. So let's lock that first brick. I don't even think we'll get a full load out of this, to be honest, looking at it now. Let's do that. That should be good there. Yeah, lots of room. No, this might be a bunk. Almost a full bunk. We'll see. Chuck it on there and see what happens here. And throw this in here. Bloop. So yeah, once we get all these maps done, we're moving on to Rogue River. And we got some new toys we're going to be introducing. Hopefully, I'm God, I hope I can get them done in time. I have been a busy... I, I probably have been saying that for a long time. It feels like I've just never stopped being busy. It's kind of crazy right now. But more time is going to be happening. I can't wait. I like... That's why I like winter. I can't wait for winter. Because in winter, I can just give her. Just give her when it comes to this stuff. Just mod till my day is done because there's nothing else to do. I don't have to mow lawns. There's no summer events going on. I'm not saying that's a great thing. I'm just saying it gives me a lot more time. <laughs> okay, so I think we got all the piles. Hey, we didn't miss anything. Just this one. That's it. I, for some reason, thought we had more, but I guess not. I guess that's all she wrote. 
So we'll see how much we can get on here. I'm just trying to avoid this big long hill here. There we go. Sure. Park it about there. Take off some scrapture. Oh, we're not that far away, I guess. Man, we're not even getting a full. Oops, whatever. We're not even getting a full, uh, full load out of this. That's kind of sucks. I thought we'd get at least one. I guess it's better to be short a little bit of wood than to have like a whole bunch of extra that we'll have to come back for. That's one way to put it. Clean up load. There's something I don't have to worry about anymore since I'm not working at the mill. <laughs> no more. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. We're going to kind of hang off the edge here a little. Living on the edge. Oh yeah, look at that. Good distance. That wouldn't break anything, I'm sure, huh? <laughs> right. Okay, so let's see what we can claw onto this thing here. Like I said, she won't quite be a full load, but pretty close. There we go. Boop. And we'll tap this one. Perfect. Uh, 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 oh my goodness. Stupid floating physics. Alright, uh, is that it? I think that's it. Oh my god, I thought this would take longer. We did, what, three loads? Three loads? I think we did three loads in, what, 36 minutes? With some BSing and stuff on there. Okay, so, uh, I guess on that note, let's let it save. Now, we're gonna do a quick sell of stuff. Or actually, let's get this load down to the middle. Let's get this whole load right down to the mill first, and then we'll start worrying about selling everything. Beautiful work. And also, at the start of the next episode, I'm going to do a quick... Oops! Oh, I forgot to lock the load! Oh, ho, 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 I was close. I just look in the back, I'm like, what are they doing? The logs are flying all over the frickin' place. Um, at the end... Actually, at the end of this episode, let's do it. Because I'll forget to do it next episode, and then I'll be sad, so. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Okay. There we go. So, at the end of this episode, we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to sell it all then. I was going to do it at the beginning of the other one, but then I'll forget to sell that other equipment, so we'll do it then. Also, then, at the beginning of next episode, what I want to do is I want to do, like, a little uh, drone fly-through of all of our progress... Talk about some memories before we do the big sell. That could be fun. Okay, so let's get this guy back to base. We'll sell everything, including the trucks, trailers, every... Oh, not the trailers. <laughs> the low beds. Uh, trucks, and we'll buy a brand new truck, and we'll use that to drive over there. Or maybe we shouldn't do that. Because then it'll affect our amount. I don't care. We should just do it. What do we got to lose? Just money, and then we guys can make a an educated guess at what's going to be the price. The price is right. If only I could get Bob to come down and tell me how it is. Look at all this wood we got. Oh, man, this is going to be so much fun. It's going to be ridiculous, actually. What am I going to do with all these trailers after? Just to keep stockpiling them, I guess. Okay, so here we are. And I want to go through. Let's sell that thing. Sell that. Sell our chain socks. We're not going to need that anymore. Uh, leased items. Here we go. So our grapples can all go. We don't need grapples. The trailers have to stay because they have wood on them. That one do does too. Get rid of our buncher. We're going to sell all three trucks or like unlease them, I guess. We're not really selling them. We're just... Getting rid of the leases. That way all of our equipment is cleared off of the map when we start selling. And we're also going to sell back our land, or what's left of it. 
because it's processed land. So there we go. Now, actually, I do have to buy one truck for dragging all this crap over there. I forgot about that. So we're going to lease one of these for six grand. A little waste of money because we just had one. Um, okay. And let's go look at our land real quick. So X, see what land we own. So, oh, look at that. The value of the land is 152 grand. So we're going to actually have a lot of money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll give you guys the grand total. Boom. Beauty. Okay. So that's all good there. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you what the total is right now that I have in my bank account. So I have 700. Get your pen out. Get your pen out right now or your tablet or whatever you're using. So we have $783,966. That's how much we have in the bank. Now, you got to take $500,000 off of that. So that's leaving us with, you know, 283 ish somewhere around there. You guys can do the math and play around. So now you guys got to determine, and this is your guess, because on this episode is the one you have to comment to win. If you guys comment on the next episode, you're not part of it. You're disqualified because that episode already came out, and that would be cheating. So we have this. We have one, two, three loads of shorts, plus we got them load over at the mill sitting there, plus all of this. And we're going to do a quick pan through. You guys can try to do your math in your head to get a rough guess at what it'll be. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, boom, boom. See? Boom, boom, boom. And boom. Okay, so in the next episode, because this is it. We've done it. We've sold it. In the next episode, I'm going to do a quick pan through showing off uh, all the stuff that we made. The ripped apart. We're going to have a little discussion. Try to see if we can go down memory lane. See what we remember. See what we don't. We're going to whip back over to the mill. We're going to bring every single one of these loads. We're going to automatically sell it at the sell point. I'm going to be writing down the totals as we go so that I can keep track. Add it all up, and we'll get a grand total. Well, I guess I don't have to write it down because it'll be totaling in the top right corner. I keep forgetting that. So, yeah, it'll be good. So right now, throw your comment in the video. Throw your comment for what you think is going to be the final price for our entire profit on this map. So again, I'm going to give you the number one more time. 783966 we're going to take 500000 off of that because that's giving our money back that we were loaned from wherever to get that. And then our grand profit total. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to guess what, how much money profit-wise you're going to get. Because the winner, whoever guesses the closest down to the dime, oh, excuse me will be getting a FDR gift pack that I'll send directly to you. I think it'll be fun. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.